All right, so back out here working on this church truck. <clears throat> it's been it's been a minute, okay. Um, I found a temp sensor. It's like an aftermarket. Come with like a uh, electric fan and uh, all that kind of setup. Before I just never used it. But uh, I've got it in the uh, the water pump here, right there. And I've just got it twisted together here and ran to the factory gauge, surprisingly. And it, like, the factory gauge actually showed some life, but it don't just stay still. It's got a little float into it, about a 30, 30 degree float, okay? She'll go from about 170 up to 200 and back down and all that. And uh, I think what might be causing that is the water pump. This is the factory water pump, or well, I ain't gonna say factory, but she's been on there a long time, okay. She's probably rusted up in there and all that. <clears throat> I really hate to pull something else off this truck because I was hoping I was about done with it, but I'm pretty sure that that is the issue with that floating. Uh, I just got done uh, gravity bleeding the brakes. I got fluid coming out of all four corners and I'm not leaking. So, huge plus. <laughs> not saying the brakes are amazing, but there should be some brakes, okay? And uh, she was, I just let it run for a good while. Runs great. But I was having to have it about quarter to half choke, and it was running amazing. Uh, I believe the carburetor needs a little bit of tinkering with. Maybe bump the idle up a little bit and stuff like that. But other than that, it it runs amazing, surprisingly. But I think we're going to order a water pump. And hopefully I can have it in in a couple days. Swap it out. But more antifreeze in it because you know i just put some so why not waste that by taking the water pump off and then having to put more why, why not why not but uh after that we should be done with this thing and we can give it back to brother james and he can get some tires put on it and all that so that's what we're hoping i need the room i got a lot of junk and plus, I'm sure they're ready for the truck that they've never had there, you know. So, I've had her for a year, which is ridiculous, but we've built a house, then built a shop, and all that in the process, and, you know, not like I'm able to mess with it every day, so. Anyways, stop the excuses, here we go. All right, y'all, we uh, just got off the phone with O'Reilly's. Water pump or to be in in the morning. I'll get it tomorrow after I wake up. Uh, unless I can talk the wife into going and getting it for me in the morning. That'd, that'd be real sweet of her. That way it'd be here and ready when I got up. Might need to talk to her about that. But uh, pretty sure the water pump is my issue with the fluctuating and everything. I'm sure that thing is all crusty and rusty up in there. So, uh, what fifty four dollars after tax? Ain't terrible. Seen a lot worse, but uh, I guess I'm about to start buttoning up some of this thing. Start zip tying up some wires in the dash, put the dash back together, and just stuff like that. Oh yeah, so uh, since we got some life out of our factory gauge up there, we're gonna be taking this and right here out, and we're gonna put this gauge over here. And get rid of this one. And we should we just back down to three. And all that jazz. And then we need to zip tie some of that mess up. And get her to where she ain't falling out the dash. Alright look guys. This is the first time ever wiring up a vehicle. Uh yeah. Yeah. That's all we're going to say about that. At this point I've already got half the Jeep wired up. It looks a lot better than that, but I haven't done under the dash of the Jeep yet. So just, just so you know, but, uh, 
first time, you know, you know, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say about me, you know. All right, and just like that, got some wires zip tied up. Boy, they was, they was hanging pretty low. Now, I ain't gonna tell you it looks great behind that panel because it don't, but they're up so you can't see them all the time. Panels up and in place. We knocked that down to three gauges over here since that one was useless to us now. And, uh, well, that's what it's gonna look like. All right, here we are. The uh, water pump. Uh oh, something blowing. Uh, the water pump came in, so I just got my fan off and my belt taken off there. The lower hose there. I know we're gonna make more of a mess, but at least that'll help for a little bit anyways. <sighs> oh, he's messing with me. But uh, this is the new one. Okay, I do have to get that pulley off there. And then, I'm gonna guess. What the heck we're doing? All right, let's get that mug the rest of the way out for our get. Whoop, yes. All right, she goes in like this. I mean, she looks right. Well, I feel like it took way too long, but I finally got that uh, old water pump off there and the uh, old gasket scraped off. And I had to beat that gum. Obviously, I wasn't using the old water pump no more, so I just beat the stud there. Had to beat it off the daggum pulley. Now I got to get that right there off. I'll work on getting that off while uh, I rub a little, or while I let a little bit of this gasket maker set up. I'm going to do a thin coat, stick a gasket on, and do a thin coat. We don't want this mug to ever leak, okay? Just, that's what we're doing. And I had to throw this to the side and just break out the razor blade because that old gasket was on there. All right, so here we are. The new water pump is on. Everything's hooked back up. All I'm missing is putting the belt back on and tightening it up and topping it back off with water or antifreeze. Other than that, we're good and hopefully this Finishes off fixing our problem. <clears throat> All right, so while the kids was playing some soccer for a few minutes in the yard, I was uh, tightening up some the alternator belt and everything on the church truck because you know we did the water pump and everything the other day. Wait, wait. Then after that, I filled it up with water. Cause I was gonna test it. Guess what? It's a good thing I tested it. Cause just filling it up with water, the daggum radiator starts leaking. That's just lovely. Something else. Every time I put one part on it, something else starts leaking. It's driving me daggum insane. Insane. So here I am over here on my 73 F350 Dooley. And because of my beautiful wife's idea, she was like, because, uh, oh, by the way, AutoZone, you can't even look up a 64 Ford F350 radiator found that out by looking on the web on the app and then i call o'reilly's can't even look up a 64 f350 radiator so then i look on amazon all the ones they have are the old straight up aluminum race car looking wannabe whatever and this is old farm truck 
gonna be used for hay rides and stuff. Kinda rather not throw a, I wanna be a racing radiator on it. So. Yes, sir. So here I am trying to steal this radiator off here. I don't know that she'll, the hoses are in the right spots, but I have no idea if it'll hold water. We'll test it out. But if it will hold water and not leak, then she won't fit in the tithing bucket or nothing, but you know, I'll donate it to the cause. All right, so here she is. She don't look the best, and honestly, I don't have high hopes for her, but we'll fill her up and wash it out and see how it goes, I guess. All right, so here's the one out of the 73. Uh-oh, lost my hose. It's a little bit more difficult one-handed. She don't look no better than the one on the church truck. But if she didn't don't leave, then but did you see that? That's right down there towards the bottom. Oh, I ain't gonna do it now. I could have swore I just seen a leak. Like right around in here. No, I think that was a small one right up here. Yep. Definitely seen that the bottom one that time. My goodness. So with that failure, I'm over here drowning in my pit of sorrows. Cause it ain't nothing but a problem after problem, but uh, I'm just done for the day. I guess we need to uh, figure out where we want to order our radiator from. I really don't want one of them nice new aluminum fancy looking ones in the old church truck, but you know, if that's the only option, then that's the only option. That option is better and cheaper than buying something that I don't, I don't know for sure fits and then having to make it fit, so. I guess, guess we'll see. Sorry you gotta watch me mope around, but you know, that's just part of being a car guy. I mean, most of the time stuff don't go your way, so. Catch y'all later. All right, so I ain't gave up yet. I took kids in the house, you know, fed them, and laid them down for a nap and got to thinking, I do have another Ford. I mean, the dually I tried, it was a 73 F350. This is a 72 F100, so this is got the 300, that dually had the 390, I mean the 302, that dually had the 390. The old 64 has got the 292, I believe it is. Uh, the measurements are pretty similar the hoses are pretty similar so uh well i guess i'm gonna pull this thing off here and see if she leaks i mean i don't know all right well here she is let's go see if she's a leaker or oh uh, she ain't looking the greatest We'll go see if she likes or not, I guess. All right, well, here we are. Haven't even raised it up yet. And there's a leak there. Well, them two radiators ain't no help. I think that old church truck hates me. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it hates me. But look, I've tried. I went through all of my old Fords. That's the only two that would have 
But any help. Because my other 72 F100 didn't don't have a radiator or nothing in it. But... I guess we'll have to order a new one if that's what they want to do, so. I hate that. I was hoping I could help out, but I can't on this one. We're, we're, we're ending it right here, okay? I'm tired of getting whooped. This is enough of me taking a beating for one video, so. We'll catch y'all next time, and thanks for watching that time builder. Hey, hit that like button. Hit, and if you ain't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free entertainment to watch me make a fool of myself. See y'all. All right, y'all. Obviously, we didn't end it. <clears throat> I'm too stubborn to give up. So, this is the church truck. This is the leaky radiator. Well, you know, the first one of the three, if you watch the video. Uh, we're going to take this off. I cannot order a radiator for this truck. Apparently, all of the internet hates 61 to 64. Apparently, I mean, I can't find nothing for them. If I find anything, it's like for a 65 or a 66 up, and it's not the same. Uh, I got, like, it was, like we did, I got the 72 Ford and then the 73 F, or the 71, the 72 F100 and then the 73 F350. Them two radiators were exactly the same as each other. Uh, and their hoses connect about the same spot as these do. Should work. But I am going to take this one off. Like the parts stores won't even, can't even order one of these. I'm going to take this radiator off the church truck. We know them two leak, but we're going to set one of them in this place to make sure that we can make it work. Because I can order them radiators all day long. We can't order this. So... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hope and pray that one of them will fit and be okay. And then, uh, then we're gonna hit up some rock auto. And then you're gonna have to wait. And I'm gonna have to wait. And then we'll just have to do something while we're waiting. So there we go. All right, so, you know, big old mess. But she's out. What's that? Oh, one of my custom spacers must have fell. Look at there. My goodness. Looks like I put the radiator in or something. But uh, here she is. Yeah, that one is. The, uh, I like the top hose just over just a little bit. That bottom hose is pretty much dead on. I can probably steal them maybe. Here's that other one. Look, I had them spaced out. Tyler's, my little man's playing soccer. This was our uh, goalie, or uh, my bad, our goal <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> as long as he can kick it between the two radiators, two old Ford radiators with daddy and the goalie. So that's how that was going. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, just to see if one of these suckers will fit in there. All right, so the only bad thing about this is one came out of a 73 F350, the other one came out of a 72 F100. They look overall the same, but one of them has this little bracketry on both sides. And this one seems to only have it on the one. So when I look it up, I need to make sure I grab the one that has it on both sides. So let's pull this one out and try this one. This one or do a little bit better. All right, here's one with two. Let's see, it would come out back here on them holes right here. That's where it was mounted out on the other one anyways. So, I'll just have to lift it up. She might be a little high like that. But, 
Look, hose down there is about the right spot. This right here comes pretty much just about the right spot. We could definitely make this work and we can order one of them. So that helps a lot. All right, y'all, it's been a few days. Now we're back and a radiator has come in. Uh, I ordered from Rock Auto. That was the only ones that I had found. Well, also, like I said, I had to order one for a 73 F350. Um, I couldn't find nobody that would sell one for a 64. But uh, Amazon had some that claimed they'd fit on, so that's probably the same radiator as this is. But I ordered from Rock Auto because according to their pictures and everything, it had like the black tanks and everything. It looked more old school than it did the whole aluminum and all that don't mind that one it's got some blue spray paint painted on top of it from a dummy i know but uh that was me but uh yeah we ordered one it just come in a couple days ago i ain't been able to put it on we've been doing a lot of family stuff the last couple of days it's fall time y'all guys know how that is i know i'll feed paint i'll feed paint just kidding just got back from pumpkin patch kids are painting some pumpkins some crocheted pump, or not crochet, paper mache. That's it, paper mache. While they're doing that, I'm gonna try to throw a radiator in. Here's what we got. Yep, I done stole my magnet out and threw it on the toolbox over there. As you can see, I have already pulled this out once and I got so upset because obviously that is shiny aluminum and not black like they claimed it was or like the pictures claimed it was and according to that uh chinese writing there i might as well have just ordered this off amazon Amazon, Amazon, whichever one you want to call it. Because I would say that is exactly what I would have gotten from Amazon. But she's here and unfortunately we just need her need the old girl running, okay? Alright, well it's starting to get dark. But 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 by the grace of God, some zip ties and my stubbornness, we finally got this radiator in here and the hoses hooked up. Them hoses technically needed to be just a smidgen, just a smidgen bigger, but uh, they should be good. Now it's getting supper time, so uh, it's not like I'm gonna get to fill this up and try it out or anything tonight, but uh, I might get to at least fill it up and see if she's gonna leak. Or I might just do that in the morning. Because if I fill it up, I'm gonna wanna try it out, so. But here's what we got. All uh, right, she's in, look at her. I mean, it don't even fit the best. She got spacers behind her, washers like she did before right down there hose and upper hose and i do have to my overfill here i need to take this off and go over there and get some longer line because you know i'd be fine if it came up here like the old one did but it's on the opposite side so i gotta get some longer hose all right this took way longer than i wanted it to but new hose running around and we'll uh starting to get dark on me well under a hood it is anyway excuse me but uh tomorrow We'll get that full of coolant and let it run and hope and pray that we have no leaks and that we can get a temperature 
on our gauge. Because the Lord and anybody else I've talked to knows that I am about ready for this mug to be done because it's stressing me out. But with that, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. All right, so here we are next day. Don't worry. All that boy thing is skinned up just from shipping or them storing it one. That down there is just because I had the, uh, the drain open at first. She's closed off now. Nothing's leaking. She's up here at the top. I got my jug halfway. We're going to uh, crank her over. Fire it up and just get some of that circulating. Let this thing run a little bit if it will. See how she does. So far, we ain't got no water leaks. I'm gonna let her run. That cap off, see if we can get any air out of the system that might be in it. Looks like I might need to choke her a little bit more. Look at her, 60 pounds. Quarter tank of gas. All right, well, I'll let her run for a good long while. And uh, no leaks, so that's good. Uh, ran all right. I had to adjust the idle and play with the choke a little bit. Finally got it before she was running, you know, after warming up with no choke and everything. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of exhaust leak, so it'll throw you off a little bit on sound or whatever. But, uh... Temp gauge just still ain't wanting to act just right, is it? It fluctuates like 15, 20 degrees. And I had bought an aftermarket temp gauge and sensor. Unfortunately, it was the kind that had the line coming from the gauge all the way down. It was, you know, already hooked to the sensor and that was the one you had to use and blah, 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 blah. And it just wouldn't work for me. It was the wrong size and all that. And this truck ain't been nothing but struggles for me, okay? So, I've got to figure out something. I've got to figure out something about that sensor or that gauge. I've, I've got to be able to get a daggum temp gauge going. So, we'll see where we can go from here, I guess. Next day. So, uh, me and the kids made our way to the parts store today, and, well, we made a bit of a morning out of it. Then we went to the park and played around, and they even got my big old tail up on some of that stuff. Luckily, park folks wasn't there to watch, but, you know, whatever. We got a gauge. No, it's not a white face. No, it don't match the others. I'm at the point all I care about is it work. So, that's what we do. And hopefully we can make that happen. Because I got other things we need to move on to. And this same issue has been bothering me for way too long at this point. So let's get this gauge in, wire some stuff up. See if we can get something working. Ah, right, fat boy sweating like crazy out here. But uh want to make on like crazy too. Got that sensor there hooked up. Got my gauge all wired up. And Dash is just sitting back in there. I guess about to try to uh, crank this thing and see how she goes. I just pray that after a couple minutes, that gauge starts rising a little bit. Man, I'll tell you what, if this is my truck, I'd have to put a smaller steering wheel in it. That's ridiculous. All right, first off, let's see if we can... Okay, the lights on that one only works with the key on. Let's see. Hard to tell in the daylight, but she's lit up. Let's see. A little 
choke. A lot of choke. I got the belt wet. That's what that is. Oh, too much. Don't let her. Praise the Lord, I finally found a daggum temperature gauge at work. She's running a little rich, and I'm not a carburetor man, so. Uh, that ain't helping me none at the moment. All right, so she just ran for a long time, but I had to have the choke on some to keep her going. So I'm pretty certain that it needs adjusted. The carburetor needs adjusted. I feel like she's getting too much fuel, flooding itself out. But uh, could be wrong, cause I'm not no carburetor guru. I know hardly anything about them. I've adjusted a couple before and that was barely enough to just get them running. So, uh, I'm no fine tuner, you know. She runs, there's only so much I can do. But uh, we do have a temp gauge. It got all the way up to 200. And this has a 195 temp in it. And very shortly after I seen it hit 200, it started working its way back down to like 180, 175-ish. So that's awesome. Cooling system is working. I would hope so because it's all new. And now she has a brand new gauge, new sending unit and everything, which I had tried before, but apparently that other gauge was crap too. So, so thankful. Finally got one that works. Now I'm going to, unfortunately, we are going to have to do the whole four gauges up under the dash. It's going to look ignorant. But that's what it's going to have to be. And I'll tie them wires up so they're not dangling, of course. Mount the uh, cluster back in securely. And try to clean this thing out. Because it's very close to going, okay? I'm going to sit down and try to think of anything else that I can possibly do. There's not a lot at all. Hopefully none. So I'll get back where you want to figure something out. All right, so here she is. She ain't no beauty queen, but she is. I had that, that lower hose clamp right there. It, uh, the, the clamp was actually messed up. It got to a point where you couldn't tighten it no more. It would start missing teeth. So I replaced that clamp. Should be good now with that. Went around and vacuumed up all my mess after, or, you know, what I could. After picking up all my tools and all my trash out of it. So, you know, we got holes in the floor over there, but... Worst case scenario, it ain't nothing that a license plate or something screwed down can't fix. But I mean, there she is. Dead lights all working. Tail lights, tag light. Headlights is on. Their parking lights work still. I pulled that out all the way, didn't I? Uh, I 
gauges are working. Parking lots are working. I really hate that it has been so long on this truck, but during the year of me having this truck for the church, I have, you know, we've went through moving into a rental house and living there for a while and trying to build this place and take care of this property and get this all going. You know, we got this house built. I was having to be back and forth all the time with that, taking care of this property still while the house being built and that property over there. And then we built this shop on the channel and everything. So I've tried my best to stay on it, but there's just times where I just couldn't. I couldn't always give it the attention that I needed to or even wanted to because I had other things that I had to do. But, uh, I mean, she runs, my cooling system works. It needs a little tuning on the carburetor. I ain't the man for that. That driver door right there does not latch. I can't find parts for this truck. I'm not the man for that. <laughs> So, I mean, there's a couple of things that it could, it needs still. I mean, it needs a lot if somebody was going to drive it every day and all this. But this is like hay rides, maybe a parade here or there. So, I just pray that it can be used for what they're wanting to use it for. And hopefully they ain't too mad at me for taking it as long as it did to get it to this point. But... I guess now it's time to talk to the preacher and see when he wants it. <laughs> so that's the end of this video. I really appreciate y'all for checking it out. Hopefully you stayed this long. If you didn't, well, you ain't here to hear this. So we'll catch y'all next time. Next video will be back on the Jeep. Uh, only a few things left on the whole wiring and everything. Hoping to hear that baby purr with a new wire and you know, whatever she's gonna sound like uh yeah and then after that we can start some progress on the 55 so hopefully the jeep will be running and well we guess we still gotta get front seats in that thing too so hopefully we can finish up the wiring and all that get the front seats in and it'd be nice to be able to drive the old girl but I just don't know. We'll, we'll see how far we get. We'll catch y'all next time.